Welcome everybody to this episode of Matt's Ranch Show. We are in Hugo, Minnesota at the Blacksmith Lounge. They have a, a huge car show here today. I heard it's one of their biggest car shows that they've ever had here. There's over 350 cars here, I think, today. So there's a ton of cars here, so let's get to it, guys. Thanks for clicking on this episode. I hope you enjoy. What do you got over here? Uh, 52 Chevy Coupe Skyline Deluxe. Okay. Uh, she's super dirty. All mm -hmm. sorts of bugs because she's been everywhere this whole weekend. Yeah. Uh, I picked it up a couple years ago. Um, I'm raised in the car family. I've only missed two back to the 50s ever in my whole entire life. So I finally got my own first car and it was after back to the 50s. Um, so I was pretty sad. I actually cried last year when they when they canceled it. <laughs> um, and then I cried again this year when they canceled it. And I was but it's back super on. Super <laughs> excited, yep. So she's, I get to enter my first back to the 50s this year, so I'm excited. Um, I don't really know a lot of history about the car. I know it was originally an Iowa barn pine. Mm -hmm. That's some, it's changed hands twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've pretty much replaced everything that needs to be replaced except for the engine and that's next it's got a 305 okay. um, and my son will be giving me a 327 to put in it but she's nice. fun she's just keeps it on the road and awesome my, my one project yeah so. awesome well, i love it it's great my name is hazel hazel okay thank you shelly appreciate it Absolutely. <laughs> Chevy Impala. Gotta get a view of the fins on the 59s, you know me. Plymouth Belvedere. Things made of wood. Nineteen seventy two Honda Tonka truck. So it's a 1972 Honda Z600, uh, pretty relatively rare car, they only imported 500 that year. Uh, it's on a 88 Suzuki ch a Samurai chassis, uh, 33 inch tires, uh, rebuilt the motor, uh, it's putting out 55 horsepower with a 1.3 liter. So kind of stock, um, but it, it gets up and goes, it can do, it can do upwards of 70. Uh, it maintains 60 all day long, so everything's a good. It's a good driver. So uh, got a nice sound system in it, and kind of made it a reliable driver. So what kind of response do you get from people when they see it? 
A lot of oohs and ahs. What is it? <laughs> Can I take your picture? Can I take the picture of the car? Can I, you know, so a lot, a lot of positive response. It's uh, definitely been one of the most interesting cars I've been, been able to drive. So it's a fun cool. car. Now, do, you, do you have a shop you build them out of or anything? Or is it? Uh, it? I used to. I now just do it as a hobby. Uh, kind of got out of the business a little bit, but I do it mm -hmm. on the side for helping out friends, helping out people. Uh, I kind of pick and choose. I like the oddball stuff. Uh, so yeah, I used to do full restorations and then I wanted to get out of that and I'm now an engineer so I this is my side hobby so awesome. the guy that I'm working on for actually just bought it so I'm repairing it uh, getting it back up roadworthy getting it fully uh, reliable getting ready to street uh, apparently before he bought it, it had 150 miles on it I've already put 150 miles on in the last week and a half just test driving it so getting it reliable for the new owner and, and uh, it's been a fun build and so what was the inspiration for it uh, something different. It is, you got to do something different. You always have to, you know, something that stands out, something that people love, and little kids just love it. On the way here, 50% of the cars had to have the camera out, driving by, taking pictures. <laughs> you know, it's just, you got to have something different. It's, it's what makes it fun, makes it makes it enjoyable. So yeah, so what, I'm a little <laughs> too tall for it, so that's the hard thing. But I do love the attention. I do love, you know, just just the public response to it, and it makes little kids happy. So that's that's fun thing about it. Very cool. All right. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for sharing about it. I appreciate it. AMC Gremlin. Do not rear end this car. <laughs> what an amazing find though. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I believe AMC made a lot of these cars and they were everywhere for a while. My history might not be that good on this type of car, but <laughs> I love the Gremlin on the steering wheel. Nice presentation. Yeah, no, look at that is not only an emblem there, but that's the gas tank. Gosh. Oh, with all that the old gremlins. All right, this is a big show. I wasn't sure how many cars I would find today at being Memorial Day, but man. There's a lot of cars out today. This is great. Look at this rat rod truck. This thing is awesome. Has anybody uh, <clears throat> seen the movie Jeepers Creepers? I think the uh, the Jeepers Creepers <laughs> character, whatever that thing was, would be happy driving this thing. This is awesome. Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird. This is 
one of my favorite cars. 446 barrel. Seven Mercury Monterey. <laughs> Look at the M for Mercury. I love how they incorporated that into the bumper and the grill. Did with the rear view mirrors too, or the side mirrors, I guess you'd say. Nineteen fifty one Studebaker Commander. Always love seeing Studebakers, they're just so unique, especially the fifty one Commanders and Champions. more like skulls because we're both into skulls. I was military. She's a death investigator. So yeah. we like skulls a lot. We have, we have them all over the place. Ring and everything. So, over, over so just body. make it ratty and nasty and yeah. Mad Max looking. Yeah. So what's in it? It's a 355 Chev. Uh, just a 350 board over. Cool. And uh, hopefully be building a uh, blower motor for it for next summer. So nice. And what's it? So what's it sitting on here? What is it originally? <laughs> what was it? Oh, God. The frame was a 1989 Chevy Silverado. Mm -hmm. um, the body is a 38. Uh, the bed was shortened 20 inches. Uh, yeah, I mean, the frame was narrowed, Z shortened, all kinds of stuff. Awesome. How long did you say? How long it took to build? Uh, uh, Still, I mean, it's still being. We're had it. Um, we've been doing it for seven years, and we still keep changing things. So. Sure, never done. Exactly. And we have more projects to build too. So not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> What's been uh, people's response to it? Very good. Yeah, people like it. Yeah. They keep noticing details every time, so it's that's kind of the idea. Yeah. Little things here and there. What are? Tell me some of the, the details that are on here. Well, inside, I mean, you get the. Uh, you get skulls on the door panel. Oh, awesome, the, uh, awesome. And the shifter is a little drill. <laughs> Love it. Little things around the bumpers, 50 cal bullets. Mm -hmm. A little bit of striping. It's really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome. I love the ham's beer too. That's and I've got everything out of the bumper. Oh, hang on. <laughs> you just did that by remote? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, 
<laughs> this is too fun, you guys. <laughs> well, that's real. That's so cool, man. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Thanks for showing it to me. Thanks for saying a little bit about it. Appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Fucking machine guns coming out the side, man. Mad Max. Got the suicide doors too. Seven Chevy pickup three ten. Nineteen thirty four Ford three window coupe. Thirty six Graham. W buses here, 1973 and 1975. Ford Crown Victoria. I love 
the display too with the drive-in food. Getting hungry. Big old bumper on the back again with the Ford Fairlane Crown Victoria. Here she is, Fordomatic. There we go, Fordomatic. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. You come back, you can hit your head on both sides. Yeah. So it's over the side, you just get lopsided. <laughs> Tire goes up, you do your gas. So cool. So I was just talking to the gentleman, the, uh, the spare tire and the extension on the bumper, the kit back here, was an add-on. You know, you could get that as an add-on. You didn't have to have it. So that's why some of these Ford Fairlanes have this gigantic bumper. <laughs> it's awesome. So this is unique too. Look, it's like lights on this side and you got your mirror on the other side. <laughs> Very cool. Here's the 1956 Packard Executive again. Filmed this at the last show I was at. <laughs> Such a cool car. I don't know, I just I just have a special place in my heart for Packards just because of the story. I don't know why, I just, I love them. 1954 Chevy Bel Air. Kinda cool to see these before they hit the 55 style. The last year they had this kinda look to them. One more year before the Chevy 55 just blows up. Not not literally, I mean, blows up in popularity. I'm such a dork sometimes in the stuff I say. I apologize. And here's the very next year of Chevy, 1955 Chevy. Let's see how they've changed. Nineteen seventy one four Bronco. Seven Cadillac. Ford F100 pickup. Six Studebaker Daytona.
1955 Studebaker Commander Regal. Studebaker Avanti. Nineteen fifty four Corvette. First year they came out. Sixty three Chevy Impala. It's got some nice bells and whistles on it. Nineteen sixty Chevy Impala convertible. Absolute amazing car. Both of these Impalas right here. Got them all lowered and everything. Man, <laughs> my goodness. So nice. Pontiac GTO, The Judge. I believe it says a 1959 Little Nash Rambler. It says it's all Mustang underneath. <laughs> so it's like a Mustang, you know, underneath it, all the engine and all that. But it's a Little Nash Rambler. Hope you can get it out of second gear. Beep, beep, beep.
old uh, Burt Rounds will be driving around in today if they film Smokey and the Bandit. Maybe a remake. Even the license plate's got Bandit on there. This is a 2013 Smokey and the Bandit edition. It's kind of fun that they do this. I don't know if Pontiac makes a Smokey and the Bandit, like if they made a, a version of this, like if this is a version you could get, or if this guy did it custom, but either way, it's pretty it's pretty fun, pretty cool. I just uh, read on the, the plate that he did it, he did this himself, so this is all custom. He made it into a Smokey and the Bandit edition <laughs> himself, so that's fun. Nineteen forty-eight DeSoto. And look at the hood ornament. It's pretty rare to see one of these hood ornaments like this. This actually lights up at night. That was pretty rare. It was an add-on. You don't see those very often. Would love to see it at night light up. Just have to imagine what that looks like at night, all lit up. Still for sale. <laughs> I filmed this at the last few car shows I've been to. <laughs> 1972 Chevy El Camino. Film this at the Frankensteiner's car show. It's custom. It's incredible. Built out of a Mack truck.
Corvette, a Mustang, and a 57 Chevy. Kind of fun. Old Ford COE truck. Looks like they do some sort of tours with it. <laughs> kind of a good idea. That's fun. 1948 Ford COE. That's awesome. 1925 Ford Model T. A 1964 Mercury Monterey. Fifty seven Corvette. Hudson Essex. Nineteen seventy AMC Javelin. Sixty-eight Dodge Charger. Alrighty gang, well that's all the time I have for today. I am hot, I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty. So I'm getting out of here, traveling on down the road. But please like, subscribe, share the video. Um, and thanks for watching this video guys. It was an awesome car show today. So yeah, this was a good one. So I'm glad I made it out. So happy Memorial Day late to all of you guys out there today. And uh, we will see you on the next episode. Catch you on down the road. Check you later. Okay, bye.